Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we will going to talk about P2P cycle available in Oracle ERP Cloud application. When we are saying that P2P cycle, it's cover few transactions. The transactions like purchase requisition, request for quotes that's known as RFQ, purchase order to the payment cycle. So everything we will discuss about here. When we are saying that purchase requisition, it is something that is starting from the requirement of the organization. So what kind of item, what kind of product that organization is going to buy based on their requirement. So that is a starting as a requisition and the last which is the payment for that item whatever they purchase from supplier. So the P2P cycle cover all the transactions just like purchase requisition, RFQ that's sent by suppliers. Then we have purchase order based on that RFQ they approve and then we are going to create GRN once purchase order items we receive in our inventories after that we have to go for invoices for the product whatever we receive in inventory we have to go for invoice for the product based on that purchase order or requisitions and then we have payment for that invoice and once all these things are completed we are sending the payment document to the bank and once bank completed the payment to the supplier they are returning back one document and that document we are validating or verifying that with the, our payments that everything is same that's known as reconciliation so everything we are going to learn in this video so that's the complete p2p cycle here we already discussed p to p that's p it p means procure and the last p means pay so we are procuring something and we are paying the payment for that specific item whatever we procure that's the complete p2p cycle if we will specifically discuss about purchase requisition, purchase requisition is a request for the goods or services by an organization. The purchase requisition is a formal document that is used when an employee needs to purchase or order something on behalf of their organization. The purchasing process is not processed when purchase requisition is created. This document informs the department's manager or presenting a staff of the decision first. The purchasing department can start the process of purchasing that requested product or services after they receive an approval approved purchase requisition document. So based on that purchase requisition document, we are sending the details to supplier in form of RFQ that's known as request for quotation. And in response of RFQ, supplier is going to give us return on a supplier portal based on that supplier response we are selecting the l1 supplier the best supplier we can say for which we have to create the items we have to buy the items and that a specific supplier will be moved forward to create the purchase order here in the statement you can see a request for quotation is sent to a supplier to request pricing and other information for an items a requisition is a supplier's response a quotation is a supplier response to the RFQ. Some example of how you send an RFQ to a supplier includes creating an RFQ in the RFQ windows and sending it to the fuzzing, making a phone calls or using Oracle I supplier portal. And once we created RFQ, now next step is to create the purchase order. You generally create a purchase order for a one time purchase of a various items. Yes, we can create purchase order based on blanket purchase agreement too, but in this case, it's, it, it's purchase order. You create a purchase order when you know the details of the goods or the services that you require, estimated cost, quantities, delivery schedules and accounting distribution. Then we are going to create purchase order based on purchase requisition via the RFQ. And once purchase order item is ready from supplier and they send or deliver the same requirement, same items or goods to inventory, that's the document we receive is GRN. And we are creating our inventory side. But creating receipt is the process of recording goods that have arrived at the distribution center into the warehouse system. So in the warehouse system or that ERP, when we are receiving the item sent by supplier, at the time we are creating a receipt document that is known as GRN. The vendor delivers the good or services and the relevant receiving document is entered with the line item verified to ensure that everything 
every order is delivered. So once GRN is created, now next step is to creating the purchase order for the items. To pay the goods and services that vendor provides, the company needs to receive an invoice first to process with the payment. The invoice we are receiving from the supplier side. But before payment, company needs to validate the details shown in the invoice against purchase order. That's true. A pure receipt. If invoice is billed without validating the information, it is much more likely that the accounts payable unit can pay a different amount to supplier. That's why everything we are going to validate. We have that option to create a purchase order with different receipt routine. That can be the one-to-one -one directly while checking or it can be the inspection every So once invoice is created, we have to go for payment and we are doing the payment for that specific invoice. After invoice is validated against the controls, now it's, it's time to release the payment to the vendor. You have to process payment in the system. That's payment document we are generating and sending to the bank. Then last step is coming to reconciliation. That reconciliation is something that we have to pay something, some amount to supplier, bank. We are sending document to bank so that they can pay done the payment to the supplier. And now once payment is completed from bank, they are sending the document as back to us and we are reconciliation. We are checking, matching that everything that whatever payment they have done that is correct or not. So the payment you need to send to the vendor is going through the bank through after the bank makes payment within a few business days according to the business need is whatever we have configured. You receive a bank statement from the bank stating all the transactions that have been processed through the bank. Now businesses will need to reconcile a bank statement with payment to ensure the right payment has been processed. After reconciliation, all accounting entries are transferred to GL. And this and the P2P cycle flow. So that's the complete cycle of P2P whatever we discussed. I have already created separate video related to C2C cycle, O2C, everything I already there. You can visit the playlist, you can check all this. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. And if you want to connect with us, you can connect with us via LinkedIn. Thank you so much again for watching this video.